My name is Jean Phillips. I am senior professor of English and film history at Loyola University of Chicago. I came here in 1970, and I uh, was also teaching uh, courses in uh, literature, uh, appreciation of drama, appreciation of fiction. Uh, but I was able to slip in the film history course uh, along with the other two. And that was 1970, and uh, I have been here ever since. I teach American uh, cinema, mostly in the 30s and 40s, not exclusively, but that really does uh, attract students. I think the biggest mistake you can make is to apologize for the fact that you're teaching old films, because if you're not sold on them, you can't sell a class on them. But I simply uh, am convinced that these are good films, they're films that are worth seeing, they're entertaining films. I always see, tell the students that no director that I teach in my course ever made a film for any reason other than to entertain an audience. Filmmakers are basically storytellers, and the best filmmakers, the most successful filmmakers, have always been storytellers. My father uh, was a movie buff before there were many movie buffs. I mean, there are a lot now, even in the older generation. But he went to a movie every Sunday afternoon, and he always took me with him. I was just a kid. And many of the films we saw of a Sunday afternoon uh, are films that I now write about and teach. If it's a good film, it is getting at real human issues and uh, things about human nature. And as a result, it doesn't matter when the film was made. This can still touch people. And the deeper the filmmaker digs, the more universal the story becomes. And that you are dealing now with human nature and not with Americans or Western heroes or anything else, but this is the way people are. My favorite era of filmmaking would be the 40s because that's when film noir uh, really came into flower. I really find that those are uh, very fulfilling movies. Uh, you don't need a happy ending to, to, to find a movie that really uh, touches you. I'm now doing a book on film noir, which allows me to revisit many of the directors I've written on before, uh, such as Fritz Lang and Otto Preminger, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, and uh, Billy Wilder, and so on. And uh, there's no doubt about it, I do like dark movies.